Let's see how well you understand basic math and percent. So the question is, 10% of one half is what? Now, if you are really strong in basic math and percent, you should be able to get the answer without a calculator. But if you're pretty good in math and need a calculator, well, that's perfectly fine. And either way, if you have an answer, put that into the comment section. And I'm going to explain all of this in just one second. But before we get started, let me tell you who I am. My name is John, and I've been teaching math for decades. And if you need assistance in math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, 10% of one half. Try to do this problem without a calculator. But again, if you need a calculator, that is perfectly fine. All right, so let's go ahead and find the answer to this problem the easy way, i.e. we're going to use a calculator. All right, so if we had a calculator and we wanted to find 10% of one half, what do we do? Well, the general procedure here is to change a percent into a decimal and then we're going to multiply by this number right here, one half. And then of course we would get our answer and the correct answer here is 0 0.05. Now, if you got 0 0.05 as your solution, that is fantastic. I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and an A plus, good job. Now, again, we are using our calculator. I'm gonna show you how to find the answer or an equivalent answer without using a calculator in just one second. But uh, let's go ahead and just walk through the process here. So we have to change this percent into a decimal. So how do we change a percent into a decimal? Well, it's actually very easy. So here is 10 or 10.0 percent. So typically what most people do to change a percent into a decimal is simply they move the decimal point over two places to the left. So 10% is equivalent to 0.1 or 0 0.10. So again, 10% is the same thing as the decimal 0 0.10. But technically what's going on is that you're dividing this percent by 100. So a percent is actually a comparison, a fraction where the denominator is 100. Okay, so if we uh, divide 10 by 100, it's the same thing as moving the decimal point over two places to the left. All right, so now that we have our 0 0.10 or our 10% expressed as a decimal, what we're gonna do is take that 0 0.10 and multiply it by one half. Now in our calculator, you're probably gonna wanna change that one half to 0.5, right? So you can take that one and divide it by two, so it's gonna be 0 0.10 times 0 0.5. And when you do these calculations or do this calculation right here, you're going to get 0 0.05 as your answer. Okay, so this is the procedure on how to find the percent of a number. You're going to change your percent into a decimal and multiply by that number. Now, you don't have to always change your percent into a decimal. So what you can do is change it into a fraction as well. But the main idea here is that we need to get out of percent and express that percent either as a decimal or a fraction and then multiply by this number right here. So 0 0.05 is probably the number one answer people would come up with if they were using their calculators. So let's uh, take a look at the same problem uh, using just simple mathematics and arithmetic, i.e. no calculator. All right, so 10% is what? Well, 10%, we got to change this into a fraction. And there's two different ways you can think of it. So we could move the decimal point over. So this is 10.0%. So if we move this over, the decimal point over two places to the left, we have the decimal point one. So point one is what? Well, this is one tenth, all right? So if, we, if I asked you to say, what is point one? Well, you could say 0.1 or 1 tenth, okay? So 10% is the same thing as 1 tenth. Now, if we multiply this 1 tenth by 1 half, we're going to get what? Well, the way you multiply fractions is you multiply the respective numerators. So 1 times 1 is 1. 
over the respective denominators. 10 times 2 is 20. So 1 20th is the correct answer. And if you take 1 and divide it by 20, you will get the decimal 0 0.05. Uh, this is the correct answer in fractional form, all right? So 0 0.05 is the same thing as uh, 1 20th. So 10% of 1 half is 1 20th, okay? Now, if you, again, want to express this fraction as a decimal, it would be 0 0.05. So these are the two correct answers. Now, another way we can change this percent into a fraction. So I showed you one way, and that is to just think of 10% as 0.10 and then use place value. Another way is to think of the definition of percent. So let's talk about that real quick here. So if I said seven out of 100, okay, seven out of 100 is what? Well, if you think of this in terms of a percent, seven out of 100 is 7%, okay? The definition of percent is taking this number in front of the percentage, uh, percentage symbol and comparing it to 100. So 7% by definition is 7 out of 100. Now, if I said express 7% as a decimal, what would you have? Well, you have 7.0%. And if I move the decimal point over two places to the left, I'm going to get 0 0.07. So here you have 7 out of 100. So if you take 7 and divide it by 100, you'll get the decimal 0.07. Okay, so again, you have to remember the definition of percent, and that is a fraction where the denominator is 100. So going over here to 10%, if the definition of percent is comparing this number or comparing it to 100, i.e. building a fraction where the numerator is 10, our denominator would have to be 100. And we could simplify this fraction down. 10 goes into 100 10 times, so this is the same thing as 1 tenth. But either way, we're going to have one tenth, and we're going to multiply it by one half. So our final answer is one over twenty. All right. So here are two different approaches to solving this problem, and it's just a good review uh, to understand what percent is the definition of percent, because most people don't really understand the technical definition of percent. But uh, what's really important is that you know how to find the percent of a number without a calculator and, of course, with a calculator as well. All right, so hopefully this little video helped you out. Now, if you need additional help in basic mathematics, I have a ton of courses you can check out. Let me recommend two. One is my Math Foundations course. That's just a quick review of basic mathematics. It's a fast little, I believe it's uh, three chapters, uh, self-paced course. Again, it's just a review of things like percent, fractions, decimals, basic number operations, order of operations, etc. Now, if you want to review basic math and then algebra and geometry, you got to check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. So if you need help in another course like geometry, pre-calculus, trigonometry, I offer all those courses as well. So all you have to do is to go to my main website, tcmathacademy.com, and you can see my full course catalog. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.